Hi friend, this is a second continuation video on Rack database as a part two. In this, I am going to cover the most important questions that, that generally comes in your interview uh, for Rack database. So let's discuss the important questions here. So the first question, if you see here, how do we take a back backup of voting days? So as we know, voting days plays a very important role in Rack database since uh, it's a part of a shared cluster storage. So as per the Oracle recommendation, Oracle recommends that you configure a multiple voting disk during a Oracle clusterware installation to improve the availability. So for improving our availability, we are configuring a multiple uh, voting disk here. So if you choose to put the voting disk into a Oracle ASM disk group, then Oracle ASM ensures the configuration of multiple voting disk if you use a normal or high redundancy disk group. Number of voting disk depend on the type of redundancy you choose from 11.2.0.x onward. OCR and voting disk files are placed in ASM disk group. External redundancy will have one voting disk, normal redundancy minimum three voting disks, high redundancy minimum five voting disks. You can have up to a 32 voting disks in your cluster. So for taking a voting disk backup, first as a U a root user, stop Oracle cluster where with all uh, using a command CRS stop CRS CTL stop CRS on all the nodes. Then identify the voting disk location for that you have to use a command CRS CTL query CSS voting disk to backup a voting disk before 11G R2 like 9, 9i, uh, 8i, 9i, 10g, 11g. Till here, you have to go for manual backup of voting this like DD by using a DD command. You have to take a backup. So DD if is equal to voting this name, off is equal to backup file name. The file the following can be used to restore the voting disk from the backup file created. So DD if is equal to backup file name, off is equal to voting this name. Just vice versa. Here we are using for restore. In previous version of Oracle cluster where you need to back up a voting disk with the DD command. But starting with the Oracle cluster where 11G release 2, you no need, no longer need to back up a voting disk. The voting disk backup uh, are automatically happening as a part of OCR. In fact, Oracle explicitly indicates that you should not use a backup tool like DD to backup or restore a voting disk, uh, voting disk because it impacts your uh, voting disk backup. Let's go for next question here. How to identify an existing current uh, backup of OCR and how, do, how to take a normal OCR backup? We can verify a current backup of OCR using the following command OCR config hyphen so backup this is very uh, most important question generally you can ask. So the next is taking a manual backup. For that the command is OCR config hyphen manual backup. And for checking uh, checking it uh, where it exists, so OCR config hyphen so backup. There is a slight difference in both the command. Like for just to see that use so backup and just to take a manual backup you have to use manual back where the OCR Oracle cluster stack is up and running to force Oracle cluster where to perform a backup of OCR at any time rather than waiting for automatic backup you can run the command as a user with admin privilege obviously as a DBA you will have admin privilege and you will be able to run both the command to see the existing current location of the backup as well as taking a manual backup because 11G R2 onward, OCR backup is happening in every three hours. But if you are using a previous versions before 11G R2, then you have to go for manual backup. And even in case if you are performing any changes on OCR level, then also you have to go for manual backup because you can't wait for uh, every three hour of happening that backup so better you can take a manual backup 
the manual backup option is especially used when you want to obtain uh, obtain a binary backup on demand such as such as before you make a change on OCR then you have to take a manual backup the OLR what is SCN number this is also a very important question as a SCN uh, a scan listener is something that additional to a node listener which listens the incoming DB connection request from the client which got through the scan IP it got end up configuring to node listener where it routes the DB connection request to a particular node and scan IP can be disabled if not required however scan IP is mandatory during a rack installation enabling and disabling scan IP is mostly used in Oracle app environment by the concurrent manager kind of job scheduler in app Oracle so there are other two way like uh, you can go with the command like grid underscore home slash bin srbctl stop uh, scan listener if you wanted to stop and similarly you can start it also by going inside the grid home slash bin srbctl stop sc start scan listener so the next question is what is the difference between cluster recovery and instance recovery when an instance crashes in a single node database on a startup a crash recovery takes place and in rack environment the same recovery in an instance is performed by a surviving node is called instance recovery crash recovery is happening in a single node and uh, instance recovery is happening in a rack node by this way you can rem remember these terms so the next is what is gsd ctl in rack list out the command in oracle rack this is not so common question but yes you might get question what is uh, gsd ctl stands for uh, gsd ctl stands for a global service daemon control we can use csd C gsd gsd ctl command to start and stop and obtain the status of gsd uh, services on any platform it's a cluster related uh, command that is used for managing a cluster uh, related services so option of so the commands are gsd ctl start to start the gsd services for stopping gsd ctl stop to stop the services gsd ctl uh, start to obtain the status of a gsd services and the location of gsd ctl uh, oracle home slash srvm slash log gsd ctl gsd daemon underscore name underscore name uh, node underscore name dot log this way you can get the log location and the next question is what command would be used to choose the availability of a rack system so the command is very simple crs ctl underscore stats underscore t and uh, underscore v so t and v are optional so the next question is how do we verify the rack instance are running so for that the command is select star from v dollar active underscore instance the query gives the instance number under instance number column host name by this you can get the instance running on a rack environment the next question is which is the uh, which is the master node in rack it's very really it's very important to understand which node is working as an active master node so for that there are three ways to check that the the first way is the node with the low lowest number node number will become a master node and the dynamic remastering of the resource will take place means in out of all the nodes whatever we, whichever the uh, node will have a lowest number it will become a master node as per the dynamic remastering uh, feature the next is to find out the master node for a particular resource you can query v dollar ges underscore resource from master node column means you can use this view to get that master node as well to find out which which is the master node you can see ocssd.log file and search master node where when the first 
master node fails in the cluster the lower node number will become a master node so this is very clear like lower node number will become a master node whenever the uh, master node will fail so this question also you will get in into very um, um, frequently into your ask this question that uh, how to identify master node or if your existing master node is failing then how the uh, what will be the way of uh, figuring out the next master node so this this is the how you have to figure out and uh, the next question is what components in rack uh, must reside in a shared location so all data file control file sp file and red log file must reside on cluster where shared location the next question is what is interconnect network in rack this is also very important question even cache fusion is also related to this only an interconnect network is a private network that connects all the servers in a cluster the interconnect network use a switch slash multiple switches that only the node in a cluster can access cluster interconnect is used by the cache fusion for inter instance communication means multiple nodes can easily communicate each other by the help of this interconnect uh, feature the next question is what is the purpose of private interconnect cluster where use a private interconnect for cluster synchronization network habit and daemon communication between the cluster node this communication is based on the tcp protocol rack use the interconnect for cache fusion udp and inter process communication tcp so for inter process communication they use tcp and for uh, interconnect for cache fusion they use udp protocols the cache fusion is the remote memory mapping of oracle buffers shared between the caches of particular nodes in a cluster so now thanks for watching till here i hope this will be very helpful